Greetings, people of Earth. It is I, your host, after five long days of... I've been trying to sleep. I promise you, I promise you, I've been trying to sleep. And for the most part, it didn't work out. Okay, folks, here's what happened. First of all, the ominous black ball is still with us. It's just there. Taunting me! Anywho... Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday were a hoot and or nanny of a time, let me tell you. We recorded the podcast, uh, Noah and I, recorded the podcast on Tuesday night. I started editing it then, continued on through Wednesday, continued on to, th to Thursday, uh, after I had uh, dinner with my brother and his lady friend, to celebrate his 33 years of going around the sun and not dying. Continue that record, my friend. My brother. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Anyway, around 3 a.m. Friday morning, as I was finishing up with the podcast, I had about half an hour left to edit and find all the good bits and rearrange it into an acceptable manner. This means acceptable. The computer ate it. After roughly 10 and a half hours, 10 hours and 17 minutes of editing, the computer ate the damn thing. Now, luckily, I save all the original... Hard, uh, the original conversations that we have on a different hard drive. So those were secured. And I was able to re-edit it from... I think I actually pulled myself away from the screen about 3.15 and went for a nice long walk. So from 4 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pizza burp, sorry. I uh, edited the podcast once more and put it up 11 o'clock Friday. It's not what it should be. I think it I, it might be the better for it. But yeah, that was... <laughs> and then I had an hour to get ready for my grandmother's birthday lunch because her and my brother, they're like a day apart. And it was just easier time-wise when everyone was together for that Friday when I had off. So that was really cool. Uh, had a lot of fun with that. But then... Couldn't really sleep because if I slept, I was going to go out brick style and not be up until Saturday. And I had my meeting with Matt J about the recording of the next audio story. So that will be coming up eventually. I told him to take his time with it, do a couple readings if he wanted. Uh, whichever one he's more comfortable with is probably going to be the one that I go with. But, you know, we'll see. I think he has a phenomenal voice for narration. And with him being a recent father, I like the idea of him reading Boogeyman. Because that's very father-child oriented story that then goes kooky and I love the uh, I love writing it so I am really looking forward to that Saturday went to the land party uh, with the rest of the VH crew and um, I'm apparently kind of sort of part of a game company now Still not sure in the details of that. Like, not even enough to, like, tell my friends. I'm mentioning it here simply because it occurs to me that we did shake hands on it. Oh, fuck. I'm part of a game company. Okay. I'm just as disturbed by this as you guys are. Ominous Black Ball, what do you think? Stop taunting me. So anyway, that happened. Uh, didn't get much sleep because then I, when I came back from the 50, mile, 50 miles away uh, land party, I had dinner with a co-worker from Undisclosed Retail Location number 47. Uh, played catch up with him. That was a lot of fun. Came home and finally, finally, finally got to pass the fuck out. Until 8 o'clock in the morning, so figure we're at, if you're keeping track, roughly 9 hours of sleep in 2 days, or if you want to get really technical, 16 hours of sleep over the space of 5. And yeah, it's, it was it was excellent to sleep finally. It was great. It was great. And then had drinks with a buddy from Undisclosed Retail Location number 32, one of the many jobs I had before 47. Which was fun. Uh, then I came home and the weekend took a turn for the weird. 
I made a comment on a uh, on a photo that of a of a person I'm a fan of. This person recently uh, they went to Old Blighty to be with their significant other, which you know was really cool. And they've been putting up pictures on their various social media sites, and it's great to see these two people smiling. It really is. I mean, kind of got a thing for the girl there, but since there's no way in hell we're even ever going to meet, why not be happy for the person who is happy and the other person who makes them happy? It seems like a really simple thing. Um, and, you know, once you have a following on YouTube, you tend to become very, your fans become very protective of you. I gather that much. I don't have a following on YouTube. But... Being a follower on YouTube, I understand this. So when I put the comment of, Duh, knock it off, you guys. I'm trying to be depressed and mopey over here. Um, ended up getting called an attention whore. And, uh, yeah. Now, you guys know, just from the videos alone, my voice is fairly terrible. I tend to speak in monotone simply because if I don't, I get very loud very fast. You know, it's just, I'm used to barking things across sales floors. You know, that's back at 47, back at 32, even when I folded pants for 19. That's what I was used to, is make sure they can hear, make sure if they're over there, and they're looking for a product. If they, the customer, are over there looking for a product, and you're across the store, and you find it, but you can't find them, might as well holler. You know, cut through the music, over the heads of everyone, and weirdly, it gives a laid-back vibe to the store. So, that's what I'm used to, and over the course of working in the Cube, I've mellowed a lot. Like a scary lot almost comatose lot. And, um, yeah. So I have to keep my voice at monotone, sort of like Black Bolt from Marvel's The Inhumans. That's a stretch, go with me on this. Anywho, um, that's awkward. Right. So, that happened, and, you know, I apologized, because I didn't mean any offense by it whatsoever. It's, to me, that's kind of a compliment of, you guys are so cute. It's reminding me of everything that I lack in my personal life, in my deep, dark hole. And in terms of attention whoring, really, you can call me out on a lot of things. I attention whore on Twitter. I attention whore on this. I attention whore, you know, the podcast. I, I, I will whore myself out for the podcast, for the thing a week short stories for pretty much anything that I think is going to get me to the location I want to be in my life. Complimenting somebody. Wow. And I really hope for this person's sake that they are that they have already moved on from it because um, I overanalyze everything anyway and I'd hate to think there's two of us out there overanalyzing the same incident. This is not This is not chess between the US and Russia back in the sixties, seventies and eighties. This it just it isn't. Bobby Fisher's not going to war over this. It's my neuroses and I hope the other person doesn't have it as well. So Yeah, there stands the grass. Curious thing though is after that, immediately another YouTube personality I'm a fan of, like, said the same exact thing and they got no flack, but that's because this person is immensely cool, and I'm pretty sure people are intimidated by them. Lord knows I am. But then again, I get intimidated by cheeses. Oh, that was another thing. When I was at the LAN party recently in Pennsylvania, there's been someone going around with a deli-style roll of Swiss cheese and doing horrible things to their genitalia with it. In full view of others. In their car. And one of mine hosts decided that every time they hear a story about that, 
It reminds them of me. I have many, many weird fetishes, most of which are probably illegal. Not that. I really don't see a need. Well, sometimes food is fun, but by yourself. Really? That's just... <laughs> no. No. And furthermore, what does it say about this guy? The holes in Swiss cheese are really quite small. I mean, giggle, giggle, point, inadequate, small. Like, even I would go schoolgirl <laughs> at, at, you know, someone who's... <laughs> that was a terrible whistle. We'll call it what my mother used to call it, wacky dingle dinker. If someone's wacky dingle dinker was small enough to perforate Swiss cheese and its various orifices, orifici, or, or things. And the picture they have of the gentleman, he's very proud of this. He is intensely pleased by what's going on here. You can't do that in your own den. You could stay in the garage, maybe. Does he work at a deli? That's the thing you really gotta worry about. I mean, the folks of Mayfair must be going like shit. I have to drive two towns over just to feel safe buying my delicatessen products. Second pizza burp. My apologies again. Well, I'm going to end this before I erupt in a gassy ball of gas. Just go with go with me on this, okay? It's the Certificate of Redundancy Certificate. I'm gonna get in the auto Macar after this. I haven't been sleeping and I'm still being pursued by that thing. Look, cut me some slack, people of Earth. So anyway, I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you had a great night and I hope tomorrow's even better for you. I am going back to the cube tomorrow. If you're the praying sort, please feel free to pray for me. If you're not, send good vibes or just think good thoughts. If you have pixie dust, don't tell the police department because they, uh, they look down on PCP. Have a great night, people of Earth. Later. Action movie ending. No.